Hey guys, Break here and today we're going to be investing in a few items that will hopefully allow you to triple your investment in a few months time. These are of course the holiday items from Winter's Veil vale, which is ending in just a couple of days time. Hope you guys have been having fun farming that. Done about fun but I've certainly still been farming it for the chance of the mounts and to do a few videos on it. Anyway, now is the best possible time to start investing because a lot of people try and invest uh, the last day or the day before the last day and um, the price kind of goes up a bit then but uh, it is around this time where you should be investing in these items in particular are the minion of grumpus and the medallion of the legion right here is a look at the minion of grumpus prices from the past year on the eu so this green line here shows at the end of last year's event it was around uh, 60k um, 65, 68k then it started going up obviously which it would do because there's a limited amount available and it hit spikes of around 250k up here in September um, and it stayed around that 250 to 240 and then started slowly go oh look it went up to 280 uh, and then slowly fell down again and there we go so the price quadruples, um, almost quadrupled anyway, over the year last year, which is pretty impressive. And I think it could increase by even more this next year. Why is that? Well, this year coming up is the expansion release. Last year wasn't an expansion released. Well, this past year wasn't. Uh, the next year will be, so more people coming back to the game. Obviously, a lot of people coming for the new allied races and all that, and yeah, it should be pretty cool. And the other thing is inflation. Inflation has been ridiculous since the WoW token and Battle.net balance have uh, kind of been implemented to the game. I'll do a separate video on inflation, but whatever. Inflation has been huge, so the price of any item keeps going up, you know, as long as, long as we go, keeps going up and up and up. And this will continue to rise with all the gold you can still get from order hall missions, from world quests. So inflation is going to continue. So this price, I think, is going to go to around three to 400k easily. The price of Minion of Grumpus is easily going to be 300k in five to six months' time, easily, on the EU. And I would say probably more like 400k on many servers if not more that is my opinion but i just think if we look at the quadrupling of price over the past year and then we look at the fact that inflation will continue uh, and the spikes in players with the new expansion i can see minion of grumpus quadrupling in price uh, at least tripling and you're going to make triple your gold if you're investing now i mean the price now is just over 100k across eu if you can invest in now, you'll easily be able to get three to 400k in a few months, like I say, and that is a great, great, great investment for those of you who have some spare gold. The next thing you want to be investing in is Medallion of the Legion. Now, this is obviously a lot cheaper, so those of you without as much gold can still invest in this, and especially if the price is under 4k on your server, at least on the EU, you're going to be making a really nice amount of gold. Um, again, the price went to almost uh, 8k average so and it was about 2 to 3k um, last Winter's Veil vale event so again the price tripled to quadrupled uh, which was a mixture of obviously it was a Winter Veil vale item and the Winter Veil vale was a few months ago and that added together with the inflation is why it went up so much can I see it tripling to quadrupling again yes I can I can see these in a few months time across the EU going for well over 10,000 gold, if not 15,000 gold, if not more than that, especially when the Dark Moon fares on, you get increased reputation, uh, other events where they give increased reputation. I can easily see these going for 10 to 15,000 gold, which again will triple your profits if you're buying now. We talked about allied races before, but it's probably even more important for these because obviously reputation is not account bound, it is character bound. So if people are playing on new characters, the new races, then these will be in even more demand. And like I say, I can definitely see these increasing. Make sure you invest. 
Lastly, there are a couple of other things which may be a good investment, may be a bad investment. It's really up to you on this. So the elixir of the rapid mines, as we all know, they were removed from the Winter's Veil event. No one has been able to get them this year. And obviously Blizzard don't want us having them anymore. Now, this should mean that the price will rocket up because there's so few in existence. They'll become like a rare vanity item, like not vanity, but you know, a rare item for collectors. They'll also become a very useful way of leveling up the allied races um, when they come out. And all of that will mean these should go for ridiculous prices. As you can see here, they're going for 245k on my server. I bought these three out when I first heard they were being removed. So I bought them for 90k each and already I could make a real nice profit. So I might sell these now. The reason I'm going to sell them now and not wait is because there is a chance these could be greyed out and Blizzard just not let you use them anymore. No one knows. This could happen, this could not, but there is a risk that the Elixir Rapid Mines will get greyed out and they'll become useless. And it's too much of a risk for me, so personally I'm going to be selling at least two of them now. Maybe I'll keep one just to see what happens with it. But I'll sell two now for sure. Um, again though it's up to you on your server if you've got spare gold if they're not too expensive you could buy a few out just to see what happens but I probably wouldn't suggest it. Last up is the Crash and Thrashing Killdozer Controller. Now this is another interesting one which again it's up to you whether you invest or not. <laughs> I'm actually the only one on my server my, my other bank other bank hole is selling it I don't know why there aren't any more. Kind of strange um, but the reason I don't suggest investing in these is because they're already quite expensive and they're so easy to get. You know, you can just buy a few of these. Each one only costs five Mary supplies, so it's only one day worth of dailies on one character. You can buy you one. So, as you see in my TSM 16 in the Guild Vault, I have already 16 of these plus that one, these two. I've got about 20 of these, um, and I'm just going to sit on them and wait for them to go up in price. And they do go up in price, guys. They do go up a lot in price. Um, but they just sell very, very slowly. They're very slow sellers. So I have sold a few of them for, um, like, well, as you can see, the cheapest I sold was 7k, the most expensive was 45k, and that was uh, a couple of months ago. So with inflation and all that, like I've said before, these should go for over 50k on a lot of servers. So if you can buy them out now for 10k on your server, maybe it's worth it, but it's probably just better just to buy these with merry supplies not worth investing because they're so slow up to you guys that is going to be about it for this video i will invest in a few of these how many should we buy maybe an eight or something we'll buy eight because uh, i've got a load of merry supplies hopefully we'll get some more and i may well invest in some medallions as well how many medallions should we invest in I could, I could buy them all out under 5k, probably won't. I'll buy them out under 4.8 and then we'll uh, go from there. A nice little start. I'll look again tomorrow, see if they get any cheaper and I can uh, make a bit more gold from them. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.